Nominating your beneficiaries is an important part of managing your super. It lets you have your say about who we pay your super benefit to after you pass away. There are three types of beneficiary nominations, a binding nomination, non-binding nomination, and a reversionary nomination. A binding nomination provides certainty on who and in what proportion your super benefit is paid. As long as it's valid and effective at the time of your death, we're legally bound to follow it. A non-binding nomination acts as a guide only, so we'll consider your nomination, but we're ultimately bound by super law. You can make this nomination in member online. A reversionary beneficiary is available to pension members and means your income stream will continue to be paid to your beneficiary after you pass away. This nomination can only be made at the time you open your account. In this video, we'll focus on how to make a binding beneficiary nomination. You do this with the binding beneficiary form. So, let's get started. First, have a read of the Nominating Your Binding Beneficiaries fact sheet. It contains info that will help you fill out the form correctly. Step 1. Enter your current member details, being careful not to miss any fields. Make sure you fill out all the fields, including your date of birth and title. To find your member account number and client ID, see your latest annual statement. You'll find a copy of your latest statement in Member Online. Step 2. Select if this nomination is for your super or pension account. If you have more than one account with us and wish to make binding beneficiary nominations for each account, you'll need to complete and return a form for each one. Step 3. Now let's provide the beneficiary details. First, select the type of binding nomination you'd like to make, lapsing or non-lapsing. Then complete the table with your beneficiary details. Include your beneficiary's full name, their date of birth, their relationship to you, and the percentage of your super benefit they should receive. You can nominate more than one person, as long as they fit within the definition of a dependent. The Nominating Your Beneficiaries fact sheet outlines this in detail. Ensure the total percentage adds up to 100%. If you'd like your super to be paid to your estate in line with your will, you must allocate 100% to your legal personal representative. This is the executor of your will or administrator of your estate. If you're using this form to make a new binding nomination, you should skip cancel previous nominations and go to section four, member declaration. If you've already made a binding nomination with us and wish to cancel this previous nomination, use this form to provide these instructions to us by selecting, I wish to cancel any binding nominations and do not wish to nominate any new binding beneficiaries. In this case, you do not need to have this form witnessed. Just complete the member declaration and return your form to us. Step four, read through the member declaration, sign, date, and print your full name on the form. You must do this in the presence of two witnesses over age 18 neither who are nominated as beneficiaries. Step five, have your two witnesses sign, date, and print their name on the form. Lastly, it's a good idea to complete the checklist to make sure you've provided all the details needed and you've completed the form correctly. Once you're done, mail your form to us. We'll confirm your binding beneficiary nomination in writing, or we'll get in touch if we have any questions for you. If you're unsure of anything, you can talk to our team.